Welcome back to How to Mobile Photo. I am Neeta Shankar, a wedding and lifestyle photographer. Today I'll be showing you how to shoot better self portraits on a smartphone using this brand new Redmi K50i powered by MediaTek Dimensity 8100 processor. The Redmi K50i is an amazing 16 megapixel selfie camera that does a brilliant job at the selfies, giving you great picture quality with minimal distortion. Here are a few tips you can use to shoot self portraits. The first tip for any genre of photography is always find good light. And shooting portraits or self-portraits in particular is no different. So let's talk about lighting. The most easily accessible lighting for anyone is window light. It can achieve the same effects as much bigger and more expensive lighting equipment. A large window is essentially a huge softbox. It will diffuse light into the room and around the subject you place in front of it. Use a north or south facing window as these remain the most reliable and flattering in terms of portraiture lighting. Because the sun doesn't shine through them directly, their lighting is always evenly diffused and soft. Additionally, the light remains consistent across the course of the day. East or west windows provide very direct light at sunrise and sunset. If the window is getting very direct light, you could also add a white sheer curtain to soften the light. The first hour of light just after dawn and the last hour of light just before sunset is known as the golden hour. This window of golden hour light when the sun is at the low angle provides magical light that makes your photos pop. The diffused golden light produces less contrast and evenly exposed photographs. Shoot during the golden hour window to get beautiful flattering light in your portraits. Open shade is an area that blocks direct sunlight but is still illuminated from the surrounding light. If you are shooting outdoors but cannot shoot during the golden light, this is your best chance at making beautiful portraits of yourself. During the day when you are in direct sunlight and the light is very strong and harsh, it will give you unflattering shadows on the face. So find some shaded areas like a balcony or a, a tree, fence pillars, buildings and place yourself at the edge of the shaded area looking out towards the area that has light. This bit is very important, you don't want to be looking back into the shadow that is closed shadows. See the difference between closed shade and open shade as I just turn myself around in place where I am standing. If you are in closed shade, you will overexpose the background and have unflattering light on you. Try to photograph yourself in front of a backlit window and adjust the exposure for your face to create a high key look. Or you could use a strong source of light to light your face and lower the exposure to darken everything else and create a low key look. And to spend long hours waiting for that perfect moment, you definitely need a highly efficient battery. While Redmi K50i 5G is built using the highly advanced TSMC 5 nanometer N5 production, the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 processor gives exceptional power efficiency and longer battery life for the smartphone enabling the photographer to shoot for longer duration. Phones these days including the Redmi K50i have portrait mode as an option for selfie camera as well. This allows you to isolate yourself from the background while blurring out any distracting elements. Use portrait mode to achieve a shallow depth of field and a softer bokeh. A selfie stick is used to take photographs or video by positioning your smartphone beyond the normal range of the arm. Most selfie sticks work by using Bluetooth technology which connects your phone to a remote or shutter button which allows you to shoot remotely. This helps you compose the image differently and also helps avoid wide angle distortion of the selfie cameras by ensuring your face and features do not get distorted due to having the camera too close. Use a selfie stick and give yourself some distance from the camera and place your face in the center of the image to avoid edge distortion. Top angle is always flattering on everyone. Shooting from a high camera angle with the phone camera above your eye level helps to keep focus on your face rather than the body and can be a very slimming angle for adults. As a bonus, shooting from a high angle makes it really easy to achieve good catch light in your eyes and can also help to camouflage a less than desirable background. Alternatively, low angle portraits can give a larger than life feel to your image by making people seem tall and authoritative. Place your phone on the ground with some support and shoot from a low camera angle with the camera placed below the subject's eyes and tilted up. 
Switch to the rear camera and set up your camera on a tripod. Use a Bluetooth remote or 10 second self timer to shoot some self portraits using the Majestic 64 megapixel rear camera instead of the 16 megapixel selfie camera. This will allow you to capture full body self portraits as well as include your surroundings to capture some environmental portraits. Pay attention to background to ensure there are no distracting elements. You could follow some simple rules of composition to ensure you capture your viewer's attention. You can follow any of these four simple rules of composition to ensure you have professional looking portraits. Rule of thirds, leading lines, symmetry and foreground elements. Refer to our previous video about composition rules to understand more about how to use these rules of composition. Once we are done shooting, it's time to edit the images and transfer the data. Thanks to MediaTek Dimensity 8100, this is a piece of cake. This processor elevates the smartphone to new heights in performance using high-speed LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 ROM, making it one of the Redmi's fastest smartphones in memory and storage. Now you can transfer files in a flash. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you next week.